Today we are getting into my current favorites. I have a ton of favorites to share with you guys. I put them in this cute little bin. We're just gonna dive right in. Everything that I talk about in today's video listed and linked for you in the description box. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you guys as part of the fam. And if you wanna follow me over my Instagram, you can go ahead and follow at blissfulbree with an underscore. That is where you can stay connected with me as well. So let's get into this. I feel like I have a ton. So first item I feel like is pretty random. So I did pick this up from Target not too long ago. And I love it. It's such a great stainless steel water bottle. I saw this in Target and I really loved the colorway. Little nozzle right here. And it does keep my water cold literally all day. So it's just one of the screw on lids. It looks like so. Pretty standard. I used to use just the bigger jugs, like the plastic jugs for water. But I decided to go the stainless steel route because I know obviously it's going to keep it colder. I got this for like $19. So can't beat it. Next item is going to be these lashes from Kiss Lashes. This style Pixie. I used to not be a fan of these. Maybe it's just like the style is changing throughout the years and my taste is changing in makeup, but I cannot wear a strip lash from outer to inner anymore. It has to be trimmed. Whether it's trimmed a decent amount or trimmed a little bit, like I have to take scissors to them, always. Let me know if you like that too, because this past year, I cannot wear a strip lash by itself. I'll cut a decent amount of the ends off, a little corner piece in the corner of my eye, just to give a little bit of a flare, a little bit of an extra va va boom to my lash, but I don't want a full strip. The Style Pixie is honestly so great for that because just enough lashes, just enough wisp, but a little bit of volume and a little bit of crisscross pattern, if that makes sense. I love them. I do the same thing with my Salon Perfect 614s and the Kiss 01 lashes, but these in Style Pixie have been a favorite of mine. Tree Hut Shave Oil. I've never been a shave oil girl. Where have I been? Where has this product been all of my life? Literally, because I used to use conditioner. I know Jasmine is obsessed with this. So I was like, you know what? Let me try it out because it's a shave oil and the thought of it makes sense. Like obviously it's gonna help get all the hair in just a smooth, smooth, close shave, but I just never picked it up. So I finally picked it up and the Tropic Glow is just such a great scent. I have the Tropic Glow Body Butter and it's so incredible. It smells so amazing and it smells just like it, obviously. It is so great. It keeps my legs really, really nourished. Just like a close shave without being irritated. I don't have any type of razor bumps. I was thinking it was gonna be like oil. Like I thought the whole bathtub was gonna be a slippery, slippery mess. And I was preparing to literally fall. Like literally I did not know what to expect, but it's more of like a thicker kind of oil to the point where it's almost like a moisturizing feeling. It doesn't feel too slippery, which is great and does not leave a residue. So glycolic acid for lightening up the pits and creating less of an odor. Who would have thought? It's magic in a bottle. I've been using this for maybe three and a half, four weeks now. Magic. I only use a tiny bit on a compad. When I tell you my underarms, they didn't have like a darkness to them. It did lighten them up a little bit and I was so shocked. This also removes self tanner. FYI, if you ever need to remove anything. Um, yeah, this definitely helped out. This is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. And I've honestly never really used the Ordinary. I tried this out. I was literally mind blown. I saw the TikToks. I saw the viral trend going around and I'm like, all right, is it actually going to work or is it just a gimmick? So I tried it out and I was so pleasantly shocked. Not even at the lightning factor. I do sweat a lot at the gym or like the anxious kind of sweat. It's not like a crazy scent or anything, but when I tell you, I don't smell a thing. My sister started using it and she noticed a little bit of difference too. So I'm gonna keep using it. I was literally speechless. It started working for me about week two. I still wear deodorant, but I just don't have like an odor at all. Even when I'm sweating at the gym, I'm like, this is great. If you love to glow to the gods, then you're gonna love this product by Kosas. I've fallen in love with this. This is the Kosas Glow IV a Vitamin Infused Skin Enhancer. It's supposed to be more of like that skin enhancer you can put on by itself all over the face. You can mix it in with your moisturizer. You can do it underneath your foundation. You can use it as a highlighter. Just a product that is a fan fave. I use it more just to highlight. I'll just take a little bit, pump it on my hand, warm it up with my finger and lightly apply to the skin or use a brush and apply just to the high points where I typically would highlight. And it's a beautiful cream highlighter. I'll show you guys a little bit. Like when I tell you it's gorgeous. They have so many different shades. I feel like I could have picked up a different shade, honestly, but this is such a stunning shade. Uh, this one's in the shade Illuminate. It's just a sheer highlighter. It's Chef's Kiss. The Necessaire Body Exfoliator in the scent Eucalyptus. Ooh, we match. I am obsessed with this, okay? Obsessed. It smells so good. It smells so fresh and spa-like and just like eucalyptus. Honestly, that's what it smells like. But just very fresh and airy, kind of like a body wash exfoliator type situation, like a gel. It just kind of feels like sand. 
not harsh on the skin it doesn't feel like rough or anything it just has like the perfect amount of like grit where it's exfoliated this is a smaller version but i'm gonna go back and pick up the bigger version because i love it that much I use this typically when i'm about to self tan so i'll just put it on an exfoliating mitt it keeps my skin really soft and smooth for my slick ponytails and slick black buns this is an essential this is a product i think everyone needs please go to target right now and go buy this I'm sure you can get it at your local drugstore but i got it at target and i cannot put it down it's literally like my magic wand without this i cannot achieve that slick back look it'll be lumpy bumpy and just crusty I have it linked below for you but it did wear off i just love it we have the smoother side right here which is really going to give the hair that shine and that softened look and right here is that tougher boar's hair and that's really going to rip the hair and get like that slicked look and then you can smooth it away with a softer edge which i love i love that you get both in one it's super easy and excuse my hair that's just like literally falling out of it so love that another body product which i cannot live without right now is the osea undera algae body oil literally cannot do my body routine without this like after the shower this has to be applied your skin is glistening you're glowing you are just the healthiest looking skin you ever saw like such a great body oil i do like to mix this in with a body lotion sometimes or a body butter honestly i will just wear it on its own it's one of those body oils that smells amazing it does not smell like oil i cannot tell you how many body oils i've tried that just smell like repulsive, like just not good <laughs> and makes me like nauseous. This is such a beautiful scent. So fresh and reminds me of the summer and it's just like a beautiful stunning glow. A little bit goes a long way. I would love to say that I use a little bit, but I don't. I do use a lot because I love it that much. I will lather my entire body with this, let it dry for like two minutes, not even. You're still glowing, but it's not gonna stick to your clothes. It's not gonna get all over everything. Like you'll be dry-ish in a couple minutes, but the radiant look that you get with this is just incredible. It is infused with seaweed as well. And yeah, you can do it on damp or dry skin. It's filled with antioxidants and your skin will thank you later. So obviously I love to glow. So I do have some glowing products that I wanna mention. The Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. This is the always on radiant skin tint. I've been using this for quite a bit, but recently it has popped back up into my routine and I'm wearing it today. I am obsessed with this skin tint. I think this has so much coverage. There's a light to medium coverage to it and a beautiful skin-like look. A little bit of glow, but coverage. Like you get coverage with this. I'm wearing it today, obviously with some concealer, a of bronzer a little bit of my powder but would you think i'm wearing a skin tint like it just looks like i'm wearing a foundation like it is such a great skin tint i love that it's on the little dropper applicator makes everything so easy you get the prettiest glow when you use this it is so so radiant and it blends right into the skin but again gives you that coverage i use the shade medium two and medium three and sometimes i mix them it depends on like my self tan shade the makeup and mario surreal skin foundation has quickly become my favorite foundation it's a glowy foundation and does have a little bit of like that shimmer flex to it so if you're not a fan of that just opt out it makes everything look so perfected but still has that added glow it just looks so pretty and i'm seriously obsessed with it so i use the shade 9w and i think it matches me all right i wish i would have went up one more shade but it is such a stunning foundation i've been using the elf halo glow liquid filter for a while since it came out i also did a video on it if you want to check it out but i've been using those products for a while. I use it underneath my foundation. I use it as a highlighter. I use it by itself if I just need to quickly leave the house and I want to still have a little bit of a radiance to my skin. So pretty, like they did it with that one. Now the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter in the shade 7 is such a great liquid bronzer for me. What I like to do is apply it in the perimeters of my face. So I'll just take a little bit from the applicator, dot it on right here, a little bit right here, a little right here, blend it out with a brush or a beauty sponge. You get such a pretty bronzy glow with this and you don't really see like the shimmer or too much of the glow. You really just see the bronze shade and it is gorgeous. Like I always thought to do that when they first came out. I was like, okay, I can use the darker shade to contour or give it like a little bit of a bronze, but I didn't pick it up until a couple months ago. And when I tell you this is what I use now, to give me a little bit of that bronze. If you haven't tried that technique yet, which you probably have, but if you haven't, go run and pick up a shade that would be comparable for your bronzing or your contour and try it out. You don't have to overdo it, just do a little bit, blend it in, it melts right into the skin, gives such an epic bronzy glow. So a new mascara that I tried out recently that I love is the Kylie Cosmetics Kylie Lash Mascara. It is more of that volumizing mascara. It has a really nice chunky wand on it, so rich and pigmented. So I did a reel on this and actually Kylie posted it to her story on Instagram and I fell to the floor. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's fact. And then Nicki Minaj posted it and I was just like, okay, what's going on? Someone's pranking me, like what's happening? Cause they use Nicki Minaj's song in it. And yeah, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out my Instagram. But I did a little reel on it and I really love the way that it looks on my lashes. It is super bold and it does give more of the volume, like I said. So it's just a gorgeous 
mascara. I'm a clear brow gel snob. This is the Undone Plush Brow and Lash Pomade. It has a really pretty bristle tip on it. It has like a dual ended tip. So right there is more of a fluffy edge. And then when you turn it over, it's more like a comb. This side right here with the comb is a really nice combed up effect, separates them. And the other side that's more of a mascara wand just really applies the clear brow gel and just makes them look really full. So really love this. It doesn't leave a residue. It doesn't leave any type of flakiness. It's so beautiful. And I love when you can see like a shine with a clear brow gel as opposed to it drying down dull. This does that. It's very shiny like and keeps them in place all day. I'm really loving hair curlers lately. I got it in Ulta in my Ulta haul a couple videos back and I love these. I use like this one in the front and then this one behind it. I do have more of these, but I'll use like two smaller ones right over here. And I'll do this immediately after using the blow dry brush where my hair is still pretty hot. I'll roll it up keep it there in a clip and then take it out and it is so voluminous bouncy looks like i just got it done at the salon so obviously that's what it's intended for but it's a beautiful like bouncy curl miss selena gomez launched the rare beauty lip oils this took everyone by storm i'm obsessed this is the rare beauty lip oil in the shade hope it is a tinted lip oil this is the shade that it is in the shade Hope, but it does not look like that on my lips. It looks like a little bit more of like a sheared pink, which is really, really pretty. So I love this. It is a lip oil, but when I think lip oil, I'm thinking like oil, like oil. It's not an oil like that, which is nice in a way because I feel like it just tops off any lip look and it's not ultra, ultra shiny, but it feels like really nice on the lips and keeps them looking like that for a while, like hours. This lip Plumper by City Lips is such a stunning lip plumper. This is in the shade Clear. So I haven't used this over any other lip product yet. Applying this straight to my natural lips gives such a pretty plump look and so natural, but also looks like very filled. I love it. Sometimes I use lip plumpers obviously over top of lip colors, but sometimes I like to have the clear ones being just strictly for lip plumping and not mixing it with other products so it can stay clear and I can use it just on my natural lips and look like I just got them filled. But in reality, it's a lip plumper, so love that. It's like an icy clear is what I like to call it. It's kind of like muted. So I think it just gives a really pretty look to the lips. So I think this brand name is L'Occitane. I believe if I'm wrong, I'm so, so sorry. But this is a hand cream and I've been loving this. First of all, I love everything about the packaging. I just think they look so like chic. I wouldn't say I have dry hands, but I really enjoy this product. It's really, really thick cream to the point where when you cut it off, it literally will just stay like that. <laughs> it is such a thick hand cream. I love it. It smells really like naturally. I don't know, just very like clean. And I really enjoy that. I like to apply this all on my hands, a little bit on my arms, and it's just a really thick cream. Keeps my hands literally silky smooth all day. If you're looking for one, this is great for all year round. It's not greasy, it just does the job. Sometimes I like to add a little bit of a sparkle to my lips, like in the center, or just kind of pat it on all over. And Miss Laura Lee did it again, and it came out with these little sparkling lip glosses. This is in the shade Sparkling Iris. A really pretty lip gloss. I love it. I love how innovative the packaging is as well because it literally is just magnetic and just pushes down and pulls back up. You don't have to twist it. You could if you want. Look at this glow and sparkle. It's like a champagne type of glow. This looks stunning on top of any lip color. I'll do a little bit right now actually. Just gorge. Like the most subtlest sparkle. It's so pretty. It's so reflective. Like on video and pictures, it looks so pretty to me. You do it alone or do it like I just did and it's just stunning. I really don't even think you need like a full swipe. Just like dotting it is so pretty. Love Miss Laura. So she did it again. This is the Merit Foundation Stick and this is in the shade Bisque. Perfecting Complexion Stick. It is such a stunning foundation stick. It just comes like so. I love how elegant and chic their products are really and the actual wear of the products are stunning. So this is the shade Bisque and look at the coverage. Like I love this. What I like to do with this typically is apply it to like anything that I need to touch up. So I kind of use it like a concealer, I guess you can say. If I have like a blemish or I really want to cover up like, I don't know, something around my nose that the foundation is just not getting, I'll go in with it like that. I'll apply it to my finger like so sometimes and pat it on. It is such a creamy formula. It's long wearing, it's long lasting, a buildable, fuller coverage type of complexion stick, which is great. It also has more of like that airbrush kind of finish as well. So it kind of just turns to like a really pretty mattified kind of look. I've also really been loving powder puffs to set the powder under my eyes and just full face. We have quite a few. I have like five more over there, over here, like just a lot. The favorite ones right now have to be from Beauty Blender. These are the Power Pocket Puffs. This doesn't just set my makeup. This sets me, keeps me flawless all day. I just really can get in those crevices. It's a great powder puff. Like really, really enjoy these. And then I also have this one from e.l.f., which is such a great one that I went on a hunt for. I finally found it eight months later and I still think they're sold out everywhere, but it's a great sponge as well. It's pretty much a dupe for it in my opinion. These are great, so I do own 
quite a few and I don't regret it. I really, really love these. They just deposit the perfect amount of powder to the skin. When you press it in, you're left with a beautiful airbrush finish. Oh, I feel like there's more and I know I say that within every video. Brie, get it together. I think those are all the ones that I want to mention right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys have been loving lately. I would love to hear. Thanks so much for hanging out and I'll see you in my next one.